All right, so I have this slab of pine that I planed, sanded, and urethane, and I wanna take these antlers and make a towel rack out of it. Let's get to it. All right, first of all, I'm just gonna explain what I'm using for hardware here. All right, fasteners. All right, so I got a three inch quarter inch machine bolt, all right, with a T-bolt fastener, okay? Now I'm gonna be countersinking that into the back with this Forstner bit. It's gonna go five eighths of an inch deep, all right, because this is one and five eighths thick, okay? So it's gonna expose two inches of bolt to go into the end of this antler. Originally I had a 1560 force drill bit. Now I'm moving up to a quarter inch because I want to do a little half inch pilot hole, all right, for this quarter inch T-bolt, all right? I don't want to split the wood, so let's do this. All right, let's... Try to pound this guy in, see if it fits. I don't want to split the wood. I think we're going to be okay here. I'm going to drive it in as square as possible here. All right, let's try that out. I'm going to stop there before I strip things out and finish it with this guy. Now, let's see if it's actually straight. All right, so this is one. And I'm kind of amazed here that it gets a little off there, but nothing major. I could probably just knock it a little bit, but who knows? We'll see once I actually have to screw down the antlers, but, and this guy, pretty good. Very happy. You know, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's way better than I thought it would be. All right, so now I'm having a look at the orientation of the antler, all right? So it's cut fairly flat, all right? So if I line it up flat to the bolt, this doesn't work at all, all right? So I'm gonna have to straighten it out. And it looks like I'm gonna to have to cut perfectly straight from this end. How much will I have to actually take off? Well, a good starting point would be a quarter inch. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we established that I'm roughly a quarter inch off on this side to make this relatively square though. And this is gonna be dirty. This is a cheap, cheap garage. I don't have many tools, so I have to get creative. So how do I figure out how to make this relatively level, okay? So now I'm gonna take this end 
and line it up. And right here is where the line's gonna be drawn. Okay, let's do this again. Right here and right there. So I'm gonna draw a line with the Sharpie right there. All right, so now I'm gonna sand the bottom of this, all right? There's a little ridge here, it's pretty close. Now I bet you're wondering, man, I wish I had a sheet. I wish I had a sheet sander, fuck. I wish I had a sheet sander. She sells sheet sanders by the seashore. She sells sheet sanders by the seashore. I bet you wish that you could have a sheet sander just like this. I know, I know. You know what, I even went all the way to level it, you know? Like it even really matters, all right? Because I don't have the tools to do the job properly as I would like, that's okay. You just gotta improvise. She sells sheet sanders by the sheet, sure. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna be pressing this down, all right? So I'm gonna kind of practice this because it won't take long because you gotta orientate this, right? So it's pointing the direction that you want it to be, okay? And lower it. Let's get at this already. I took it all the advice of a couple good friends of mine. They said you should do a practice run on a spare antler. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I cut off the end. So it's squared to the bottom, all right? And I traced an outline over here where the bolt should go in the middle, all right? On this side and this side, okay? Now this is the first step, all right? Because this is just a basic outline of where it's supposed to go. So I may think it's supposed to go over here, but you see how it kind of curves? It's not perfect. And how am I gonna mount this to anything and drill it? If I just take a regular hand drill and just clap it down and drill it in here, it kind of negates why I went through all this trouble to do the bolts as perfect as I could and rounding this off or flattening this off as best I could. Now I'm just gonna, you know, and hope for the best. Well, let's see what I can come up with. To be perfectly honest with you, if I don't get this perfectly centered to where this is flat, okay? onto the surface, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna screw this all the way down, all right? And if it's askew slightly to the left or the right, it's going to be askew, all right, at the bottom. So there's gonna be a big gap somewhere at the bottom of this, okay? And if there's a gap, what's gonna happen is eventually there's gonna be no stability. So that will be an issue down the road. All right, so this is my drill press vice monstrosity. All right, so I got it all clamped in here. I got my 1560 force drill bit. And now let's test this for level, okay? Because everything is gonna be based off the squareness, all right? of this antler because when we screw this in to the base of the towel rack, it better be square going in here, all right? So let's have a look here. 
it's as perfect as I can imagine, but who knows? Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna run this through one more time because with the wood, all right, it fit really snug, okay? But wood is a lot softer, it's malleable, whereas bone, I don't think so. So I'm gonna run it one more time through and test it on a quarter inch machine bolt. All right, let's try the quarter. All right, let's try this out. I'm sure I bored it out too much. But what do you do? Okay. All right, well, so it's sliding down. Okay. I was hoping that it would just gently screw down, right? So I can just kind of wind it all the way down. But what are the chances of it actually tightening at the perfect location? I don't think that would happen. I was intending to do a two-part epoxy anyways. So this shouldn't be an issue. All right, so I got all three antlers mounted to their bolts, okay? And I'm very happy how they turned out, but I don't think just epoxy will keep these from moving, all right, in the long run. This is going in a bathroom, and a buddy of mine stopped by and he said, well, why don't you take a screw, all right, right beside the bolt, okay, screw it down, snip off the end, drop the antler onto both the bolt and the screw, epoxy it, and this will inhibit or help it from side to side movement. And I think it's brilliant. So let's get to it. All right, so now I want to slide this down and see where it's going to be exactly on the butt end of this. Now I have to line it up where I want it to be forever, okay? I took some chalk dust and put it down on here and hopefully it kind of snugs in here. Let's see. Well, that's pretty darn good. I'll take that. All right, so I went to the drill press. I leveled this surface off just like I did previously, all right? And treated it exactly the same way as I was trying to line up this guy with this guy, all right? And this is the result, all right? So let's try it out and see if it lines up and goes in there. So now I'm feeling a bit of resistance, okay, which is good, but I don't want to push it down all the way, all right, because I want to keep that resistance for when it's time to glue, all right? And you can see that's kind of where I want it to be, all right, in alignment. And I'll do the same thing with the other two and I won't bore you with that process all right, so I'm just gonna take some compressed air and blow out these holes and the bolt and the screw to make sure there isn't any dust and debris on them. All 
All right, so I got the epoxy all mixed up here. It's a two-part epoxy, it's Gorilla. So what I'm gonna do is spread it on the bolt. as best I can and the screw just like this I got five minutes to make this happen okay so I think that's good there now I'm going to do the antler and hopefully this is coming out. Just kind of jam it in as best I can. All right. Hopefully this does the trick. Kind of trying to work fast here and get it on camera. So let's see how this works. And the bottom. Now I'm gonna try and get some into the screw is going to go. Hopefully this is coming out on video here. Just like this. I think I have a couple more seconds left here. One more shot here. out of the way and see if this fits now I'm sure a whole bunch is gonna squirt out the bottom and here we go nope none is pouring out the bottom I wish a little oh, a little bit's coming here okay Thought more what if so I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it to see if it's getting it all okay there you go I'm sure it'll pour down eventually all right I'm just gonna give it a little tap and I think that's where I want to be here All right, so this has been cured for 24 hours and you can see the epoxy has really stiffened up these antlers, okay? So this is going nowhere down the road. So I'm pretty happy about the outcome. And what I did, I didn't go through this process, but it was just creating a hook, okay? And what I did is I took a hose clamp cut off the business end, all right? And just fold it around a two inch loop. And I think this is gonna be way sturdier than what you can get at the store because I don't think the hardware that comes with a loop is gonna look like this, all right? So I'm gonna hang it on the wall and show you guys how it looks.